today's episode, we will be making chunky, healthy guacamole. Now there is two parts to this recipe. First part is mashing the avocado, and the second part is creating the salsa or pico de gallo that will be blended in with the avocado to make the awesome guacamole. We will get started with making the salsa part first. The measurements for this recipe are for every two avocados. Feel free to multiply the ingredients according to the quantity you're making. For the salsa recipe, you will need a quarter of a red tomato, a quarter of a white onion, a jalapeno or your favorite chile like chile serrano or habanero. And you will also need a handful of cilantro, and high quality salt like sea salt or pink Himalayan salt. Once you have all of your ingredients, chop them into fine little squares. Here's a very helpful tip for cutting the jalapeno. I chose to cut about a fourth of it. Once you have the jalapeno piece in your hand, thinly cut lots and lots of slices horizontally and vertically, then place this on your cutting board and you'll see how these thin little even squares will come out of the jalapeno. It's a very, very good tip to finely cut it and make sure that spice gets all around and there's no surprise chunks of very spicy jalapeno. So this is a very great tip for that. Once you've cut all your ingredients, you can put them in a bowl and squeeze in the lime and adjust all the ingredients to your liking. You can add more cilantro here, more salt, more tomato. This is where you can get creative and make a unique blend that you really, really love. Now we will move on to the second part of the recipe, which is mashing your avocado. Here is a very good tip in cutting your avocado. Simply hold it in your hand and cut with a knife all around 360 degrees. Once you've done that, flip it so that you'll be creating a cross and cutting again 360 degrees all around the avocado. Once you've finished, you'll notice that you created four wedges. Once you have your avocado slices, you can easily use your fingers to scoop out the flesh of the avocado onto the bowl. You should have no problem doing this, it should be really easy if your avocados are nice and ripe. Once you've done this to all your avocados, you can easily cut them into little squares. Now, in order to mash your avocado, simply grab a fork and start mashing your avocado. This is the fun part. Simply mash and rotate. Mash and rotate. Keep mashing your avocado and rotating your bowl until everything is chunky and smooth and you can stop every once in a while and blend with your fork until you get the consistency that you like. Once you've finished mashing your avocado, you can bring in your salsa blend right into the guacamole and blend with the fork until nice and chunky. After you finish blending all the ingredients, feel free to add more of certain things like salt or lime or tomato according to your taste. And then you'll have your finished healthy chunky guacamole. Yo ya quisiera quedarme, junto a mi gran cariño.